President Mr. Fisher will send as much as I need fifteen dollars uh, for a fan pass. Otherwise, I would have had mm. you more. Really? What do you think? <sighs> well, not exactly. He says he gets a percentage when he pulls in a right sum. You mean it's all gone? Every dollar? I don't know what I need to understand. Oh, also. I careful note. I followed the formula that was worked out by the computer. I calculated the odds by slide rule, carrying them to the fourth and fifth decimal place. 9.8. I just 13. can't understand it. Mr. Fisher said that I had a frigid digit. A what? A cold finger. I gather that's the opposite of a hot hand. But according to the game's theory as outlined in the last International Congress of Theoretical Mathematics... Unfortunately, at the last Mathematical Congress, they weren't trying to make a four the hard way. There they go again, skyrocket. I was hoping to get at least three plates in before they started. And the crushing blow occurred when Mr. Pusher offered to sell me my horoscope. No. Yes. He said anyone was a fool to get into a dice game if the stars weren't right. Now there's an example of what we're up against. Medieval superstition existing side by side with high design rockets and nuclear space drive. Shocking! I'm not so sure. Might be a good idea. Yeah, that helps. No, no, gentlemen. Fisher was right. Every man who's going to gamble should have a horoscope. It's very important to know what the stars say. What are you talking about? Just and fixing where this. on Mars is the place best equipped to tell you what the stars say? Oh, no. Dr. Benzinger. Gentlemen, I tell you, it may be a stroke of genius. 9.8, 13. Hello? 13. Oh, Dr. Benzinger. I should like to play some ads. No. No, there will be no pretty girl. Let's see. Free, free. For the first time ever, your horoscope, scientifically cast by the staff of the famous Mars Observatory. Oh, make sure. Learn your luck, your future. Right or call Mars Observatory. No charge, no obligation. Yes, thank you. I'd like to run that every day for 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, Mr. Hart. Did you do like I said? Yes, sir. I went out to the observatory just like you told me. You know, I had to share the sand hat with five other guys. I understand the bus company's putting a rod out there. A big crowd. Sure, Mr. Hart. You know, them horoscopes they're giving there, the only thing on Mars that don't cost a tourist any money. All right, all right. What happened? Well, when I got out there, it was this Doc Benson. You see, all dressed hey, up. Hey, McQueen. In a big robe. How have you been? You never saw a telescope this big as that. All right, all right, skip the travel line. All right, well, finally, they took my name. And Hope everything's been going good for you. Computer. You should have seen that thing. Lights and bells. I'm telling you, it looked like the biggest pinball machine you ever saw. I kept waiting for it to tilt. The horoscope. The horoscope. Yeah, well, they give it to me finally. I mean, the first couple of pages is the ordinary bourgeois. But you can hear me, right? But on the fourth mm. page, that's the kicker. What did it say? Well, it said that I'd be real lucky at most good. gambling places, but I'd lose my shirt at... Nah, I'm good so far. Like Go I'm just making sure that I'm actually getting this right. I played at Harry Harvey's place. Yeah. Pretty shrewd. Just working on no, my comic book stuff. Pretty smart. <laughs> that isn't going to work. I was just chilling last night, which is nice. You need a, a break sometimes. Uh, I was gonna stream and then I was like, "B." I just chilled out. I didn't. I didn't do anything. How was your stream? Did it do it go all right? I think we're on our way. I checked Mr. Harvey's establishment. You could shoot an elf in the gambling room. Empty, eh? There was nobody playing but an elderly masochist who likes to lose. <laughs> we have a visitor. Ben <sighs> Please to take off that confounded astrologer's hat when you come into my office. It, it embarrasses me. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but, Doctor, allow me to present Mr. Harry Harvey. I am. How's business, Mr. Harvey? Yeah, that's good. Well, look, gentlemen. Let's put our cards on the table. You put a hole in my pocket. Like I haven't had since I once ran into an honest police lieutenant in Cincinnati. I presume you've come about our horoscope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's shoot or get off the power line. How much? I beg your pardon? How much will you take and lay off? Mr. Harvey, just a promise. What? You're on the town council, Mr. Harvey, now. 
the next time the question of tourist entertainment is discussed. Yeah, I've got to fix this just a little bit. Sure, that's no problem, but look, I'm all in one I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like this very specifically. I... You're gonna knock us all one by one like a flight of ducks? <laughs> well, that's a good old idea. <laughs> yeah, I gotta hand it to you. I gotta take off my hat to you. <laughs> Mr. Harvey, we, we, we are desperate. We cannot afford to let valuable and irreplaceable photographic plates be spoiled by fireworks. Okay, there you win. Well, listen, here's, here's my bill. bill. So yeah, I hope your day's been going good so far. But we couldn't make it, Mr. Harvey. I've already explained. I hope your day's been going good. I want you to take a full page ad and do the purple flamingo in your next horoscope. I'd like to see Joe Rockwell's face when he gets a load of it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Harvey. We'd be glad to take your money. Oh, uh, and uh, one more thing before I go. I have been working very hard, and so it's just nice to just sit down and just be like, oh, God, what am I doing? <laughs> well, that's the last of them. Red sand, Franklin's paradise, the Martian Cut. garden, the two moon clubs, and Cut. the purple flamingo. Dr. Martian, we've got them all. I'm Don't almost done with my panels, though, which is good. That? No more fireworks. All those beautiful stars and nebula and not a mist. I just need to do the colors and the shading, and yeah, they'll be done. I have some news and for I can you. Resize the point seven organization, the Harvard Observatory. Are they going to oh. oh man. Earth newspapers carrying accounts of horoscopes published by your organization. Very unscientific. Harvard Board of Overseers, a gap. Must stop at once. Ah, uh, thank you, McChungus Among Us. I do appreciate it. It's a regular day for personal messages delivery. It is. Oh, Mr. Harvey, I asked Mr. Harvey to wait in the washroom. He this... Oh, sure. All of us have contacts. Paste it right there. We can get a hold of Because I don't want to get rid of it. Did you come down really? to over our misfortune, Mr. Harvey? Nah, nah, nah. You got my promise to help you, boys. Now stick by. Oh, shit. That's so big. Oh, fuck. So big. I'm afraid the fireworks will go on as usual. Thank you, Mr. Harvey. Look. What would happen if you brought Thank you, McChungus Among Us. I appreciate you coming in here, man. Hope the music is going well, and hope everything else has been going pretty well for you. Well, Mr. Harvey, I'm afraid any stars worth looking at with the naked eye already have moons. Besides, Harvard Observatory wouldn't stand for this idea either. It would make as much sense to them as you naming a poker chip after me. But Dr. Morton, we've got to think of something. We tried rigging up a photoelectric cell. It closes the shutter when a rocket goes up, but it cuts the exposure time too much. But if we can't get these plates, we may not be able to duplicate them for years. Why, right now, they're preparing the first trip to a newly discovered planet. And the work of the observatory is necessary to ensure the success of that trip. Now, surely your colleagues will realize that, Mr. Harvey. The future of the human race is at stake. Doc, the only race those jokers are interested in takes place at Tropical Park. Look out there. They're starting the fire. Oh, yeah. Can we try to have a good time? I, know, I, know. I hope she had a good time sure, last night. I, I was fucking way, working. Like there's no, sometimes Wait, there's nothing you can do but work. You mean if the rockets misfire and get the tourists all wet, there would be trouble? Oh, sure. You could I'm glad we can have a good time. I can't yeah. stand around no crap table for hours. Mr. Harvey, do you really want to help us? Well, sure, I promised, didn't I? Uh, Dr. Spiegel, do you think the research library would have any material on pyrotechnics? Bensinger, what do you have in mind? Well, Dr. Morton, I was thinking of fighting fire with fireworks. We can have a whale of a good time over here. Uh, careful with that match, Harvey. Oh, don't worry. With the oxygen around here, you need a blowtorch to light a cigarette. Have you got the rockets ready, Dr. Bensinger? Well, here they are in the launching rack. I just appreciate everybody coming in and saying hey. Well, what are we waiting for? Spiegel, he's bringing the calculated trajectory from the computer. Hey, I don't know if I like this. What if they miss? Or they go off too soon? But I just don't like the layout of the bar, and I don't like the some of the things that they have. So fixing a little bit of it. 
Azimuth 360.3570. Check. Elevation 49.3. If I didn't live on the other side of the country, I'd gladly join you. Oh, yeah? Sure, you guys know what you're doing with them sky rockets. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Mm. In the Grand Canal and get everybody mm. well, we'll hang out with me. Yeah, that, that would be fun. Five seconds. I just Five. wish I didn't have Three. work tomorrow, uh, Five. today, but One. oh well. Five. There they go. Oh, interesting effect. That's the purple color. Oh, do you like it? Yes, that was my idea. Radioactive fluoride. They're up over the town now. Hey, hey, hey one of them's beginning to wobble. Oh, I can't understand that. The computer was absolutely certain. It's going over the south of town. The other one's tracking correctly on the radar. Uh, I had to go to work, so, you know, that was how the party was. Hey, you can see it now. It's a house burn. Hey, Haven. I mean, I got I, I hung out on stream, so that was good. I hung out on stream with everybody. Everybody was happy. I got a few birthdays on stream, so it was good. Haven came in, said hey. Haven's a great, great person. Good personality. Very sweet to me. You're okay. You're all right. I'm just redoing some uh, some of these panels. I don't in, I don't like the look of them, so I'm redoing them. And also going with uh, the size 9.8 and by 13.9. So I gotta change some of the size, but it's okay. Send him back to the moon in a cargo rocket. With no air. Uh, <clears throat> How is he? Now, uh, about your problem. I am sure you we, we, we apologize. I just apologize. That's great. Uh, uh, I just remembered I left with you placing about. I don't know where exactly you're in on this case. No, there wouldn't be room. Not, not, not for two of us. What are you talking about? Well, in a cargo rocket, especially without air. What? I'm trying to tell you. The council voted against fireworks. No, as a matter of fact, I have a very bad sinus, and no air would definitely... What? Oh, sure. We decided anything that could burn down an honest citizen's house was too dangerous. Very civic-minded, that council. But, but, but I, I don't understand. I kept my promise. I said I'd help you, and I did. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly embarrassed. We, we were trying to get a collection among the staff to help you pay for your loss. But I'm afraid the total asset of the observatory wouldn't reconstruct your garage. Yeah, but 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 we we held a sign, hmm. and we decided it might be too high up. Mr. Harvey, on this photograph, you see this trail, this bright trail. Oh, when I'm skyrocketing again, I'm sorry, Doc. It won't happen again. No, no, no. This is no skyrocket. It's a comet. It will be quite bright for several months, and we've decided to call it. Harvey's Comet. Harvey's Comet? Hey, that's real nice. Harvey's Comet. Hey, Doc, you put me on top of the world. Them boys at the Canal Casino boasting about their new sign? Put me, I got a comet. Harvey's Comet. Why, every sucker on Mars will see it every night. It's the best advertisement since they wrote seven down across the face of the moon. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you're pleased. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Doc, I kind of heard about it in advance from one of your boys. You named the comet after me? Okay. I brought something for you. Here. Uh, uh, what is it? A poker chip from my place. Go ahead, read it. Uh, Harvey's Cub, Dr. Morton's Poker Chip. Five thousand. That's dollars, Doc. Don't spend it all in one place. But yeah, you 
you guys. You guys made my birthday so great, and thank you everybody for even just saying, acknowledging it. I, I'm cool with it. I'm just glad that people came and said hey and shit like that. It's nice. Just a moment, X minus one. But first, but I if was... you're planning to join the family for this holiday weekend, remember you have a friend who will keep you company. I get to have a nice birthday cut loose, but remember you, you have to be on shift at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, no, remember, you've got to do the closing shift. Oh, yay. Interviews with the stars. Got the closing shift again today. Fun. And I work at the deli, so you know, extra fun. Countdown for blast off. X minus five, four, three, two, X minus one, fire. From the far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of a future. Adventures in which you'll live in a million could be years on a thousand I just didn't like the layout of the bar at, at first, so I just, I'm redoing it just a little bit. Presents X, 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 minus, 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 one. Night story, A Tale of Air, by Fritz Leiber. It was pretty quiet in the mess. Carl was just sitting there quiet, staring into it like he does these days. And Ma was asleep. It's almost as I aggravating know. as hearing people unironically say, I appreciate your concern. Yeah, it's, we appreciate you being concerned. She's looking at herself in the mirror that hangs next to the bookshelf. I don't know what she finds to look at so long, but then she's a girl. She just looks at herself. I owe you much streaming now. Pop puts a couple of extra lumps of coal on the fire and we take a bath. She looks at herself in the mirror and sometimes she cries. I dropped the book I was reading and I guess that woke Ma. Pick up the postcard. Sorry, Paul. It's come back. Hug me, Walter. It's come back. It was just Carl. You dropped his book. Oh, but it's come back. It's, well, it's out there now, isn't it? I, I feel a lot warmer. No, Ethel. It's, it's up there in the sky. Just the way it always was. I know. I, I had a dream about it. I know, dear. Sis, melt your mother a cup of water. I'm pulling my hair. Sis. Oh, all right. Got to get up. I, I know it's there. There's a book of it. And the spring bulb. And daffodils. What are daffodils, Ma? They are very big. Oh, they are flowers. And they're very pretty. Yellow. On a tall green stem. Oh, I want to go out. I, I want to take the children out. All right now, Ethel. Here's some water. Come on, children. We'll all go out and we can play. Yeah, we're almost done with these panels. Oh. You wrap on the pipes and make that super send up some more. What's a super pa? It doesn't matter. Oh, thank you. I just I found them and I was like, you know what? No one else fucking does this. Why don't just fucking play nice things like this? Something nice that people can enjoy. Just chill out, hang out. Don't make it too big. Don't make it a big deal. Just chill out, hang out. What was it like? Just play. Sis, don't get your mom upset. The sun was yellow. 
and so bright you couldn't look at it. Very yeah. hot, so hot. But when you stretched out a little, made it feel warm all over. Really warm. So I will work on this as well. But I only have an hour before I have to go to bed. I uh, go to work. So. Every morning it would come out of the east, make the clouds all pink and yellow, and the mist would rise in the ground, and then slowly everything would glow warm, warm, and then it would be up there in the sky, shining, warm. <laughs> Hurry up, bud. I'm almost ready, Pa. I want the sun. I want the sun back. Hey, hey, Ladev. Uh, no, it's not a day off. On my birthday. Go ahead, bud. Take the big pail and get it full this time. There's no sense in taking the trip for only half a bucket of air. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Haven. Um. An hour before work, I'm just doing this. Because it's bothering me. I'll get one. Uh, probably, uh, I have one Wednesday. But I am going to have to see my mom. So, you know, it's not really a day off. And then I got Friday. I could have taken the whole day off. And said, hey, fuck it. I'm not feeling it. But I was like, you know what? It'll be fine. Yeah. I gotta go get her groceries. So that'll be fine. Ugh. I had it about full, but when my fingers were getting pretty cold, uh, I saw something. Yeah. I'll get a day off eventually, though, Ladev. Thank you for, uh, I appreciate you. You're so sweet to me. It can't be a light. Moving around in a window like that. It can't be. Mom, Pa, I set her back in the net. I'm up here and... I might need to shrink that just a bit. Oh, thank you, Ladev. You're so sweet to me. And I tried to be sweet. It's not easy, but I try. So I hurried up and scooped up another bucket of air and headed back to the nest as fast as I could. Pa, pa, I saw something. Go on, hang those outside clothes up by the fire. Pa, I saw something that came. Another quiet sound. Don't expect it, Pa. It was a light. I get this there next to the fire. Uh, give me the cloth, please. Shall I put another lump of coal on top? No, no, no. The oxygen from this bucket will get the fire up when it begins to melt. Aww. There. Pa, Thank you, buddy. There's lots of light. Thank you, bud. I, know what stars look like. I appreciate you, and I appreciate everybody who comes in and says hi. Just a hi and a friendly hello is just uh, all right with me. First, I thought it was a lady, a young lady. <laughs> I mean it, like in one of those old magazines. I thought I saw it in a window, but then all I saw was a light. You watched it for some time, sir. I know I'm not everybody's window, cup of tea, and door. that's okay. It didn't look like stray electricity. No, pa, I know what that looks like. Or a star attracted to an icicle. Sometimes if you catch it at the right angle, it's... Pa, honest, I never saw anything like it before. Yeah. Aww. All right. I'll go out with you and you Yeah, I know you do. I uh, know you stick around and you uh, you check me out. We'll be right back. I uh, know. That there's something out there. That we've known there was something out there waiting to get us. Hand me my gloves. Something that's 
part of the cold. Take it all warm. Still wide awake over there. You got stuff to do tonight. Thanks, McChungus Among Us. You know what? Thanks, McChungus. You're good too. You know what? You, you too. <laughs> I hope you enjoy uh, your stream, man. Fuck it. Have some fun, man. Or try to, at the very least. I know the sketching out this fucking thing is probably not the best, the most fun ever. Yeah, what's the game if I if I be may be so bold? So while I wait for him to finish, I'm just vibing and getting some sketches on. Ah, oh, that's cool. I love your art. It's so nice. Genshin Impact. It's not really a story game, but okay. Uh, well, it's more of a gotcha game with the story. But hey, everybody's different. Come on. I know it has a story to it. Doesn't stop it from being a gotcha game. A waifu gotcha game. I know what it is. Yay, Raven. I know. I, I like the booba too. We're up on a hill, and the plane floats down away from us. Some mm. taller buildings push up out of the feathery plane, topped by rounded castles. Got a question. Does nihilistic plot art need a dark visual style, or is that just a pan? Is that just pandering? Uh. I think that. It, the style doesn't matter because it just really depends on like uh like the personality in all honesty like it, if the story is just good dark and then it's just like ah you know i i draw only cute things then i mean you just got to deal with what you get you know some people can only draw cute things. Yeah. Some people genuinely can... Like, Tria can only draw cute things. Uh, yeah, Madoka Magica style, where it's just... I hate you so much right now. Flip Studio. Yeah. Pretty hard to hide your feelings in the nest. I mean, there's just room for the four of us. The blanket overhead just touches me. Pa stands up straight. 
All right, Madoka Magica is something. It's like I want to see two magic girls fight to the death. Oh yeah, Tria can uh, can only be. I love this. This is the best. You know what, guys? This is great. I'm just losing minutes off my fucking life, Clip Studio. Waiting for you to select any goddamn thing. Let's reset the damn thing. I will calm down. I will. Yeah, there we go. In the days of my youth, the sun hung above, golden and warm, and the earth was fruitful and multiplied, and the fields were green, and the day was glorious. Thank you. Thank you for my page manager, you so, so, you so and so. Alright, now let's see if it selects. Will you? Will you? And then the dark star came rushing out of space. In the beginning, will you work with me? Will you work with me? Thank thank you, Big Chuck. <laughs> Where do I look for brushes? Uh well, I got these specific brushes from an artist. I forget his name. I forget his name. I know what he means because I've seen a picture of a dog in a magazine. Yeah. And then the dark star. Uh, let me see if I can find it in my notes. Because I took, I, I was like, hey, can I, uh, can I use yours? And it's like, yeah, you can. A anybody can use these. Uh, where is it? Where is this stuff? I gotta look through my notes. Then came the open question time in the story. Chris asked a question about what you under artist I like. And I asked Pra how people acted in those days when the earth was twisted and jerked almost apart. Well, but I was too busy to notice much. A friend of mine, Dr. Weisberg, and Kelly, the geophysicist of Walters the Astronomy, he knew what was going to happen. And we were working to fix up the place with airtight walls and insulation. Finally. And big Finally. The place got smashed up in the earthquake, and they were all through. So I put the nest together at the last minute in the living room of our apartment. It's a four-room apartment. You must have seen some of the people, like the frozen ones downstairs. At that time, but I only thought of one thing. Your mother... What was it? And the vice. Wait, hold on. What'd you say? Because I bought painting brushes for like four bucks from an artist I love, but I have no idea how to digitally paint. I'm not smart. What? <laughs> oh, so you you paid for brushes online. Uh, just you can uh, drag and drop them or copy and paste them, like um. Like, 
Uh, depends on the studio or whatever you're using, but you can uh, you can import your uh, paint brushes into most uh, programs. And it's not a, as difficult as you think. There's a lot of tutorials on there. But I mean, the paintbrush is only as good as the the artist. You know, I made I made crap work uh, work for me for uh, for four years. So, you know. The use of going on. Why prolong a doomed existence of hard work and cold and lonely? The human race is done. The earth is done. Why not give up? I ask myself. <laughs> I do appreciate the gesture. Chilling out, hanging out with everybody. It's all nice. It's so nice hanging out with you guys. When it will deselect. No matter how long the human race might be, yeah. the end would have come. No, you missed absolutely nothing. You missed me just sitting here. I love it. No, I'm not. And that's as true for the last man of man. I said deselect. I said deselect, fucker. Ma was dreaming with her eyes closed, and Fitz was looking at herself sideways in the mirror. And I was the only one who heard the noise. The noise outside. So right then and there I told myself that I was just sitting here vibing. We're just sitting here vibing. And I'd teach them all I could. I'd get them if to only them. Clip Studio the was the same. The I'd try to I'd keep try to everything, everything beautiful and alive. alive. I'd, keep I'd keep alive my alive feeling my of wonder, wonder, even at the even cold and the dark, and the, dark, and the, distant, and the distant stars. stars. Paula, 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 I hear, I hear. No. What is it, Doctor? What is it? Diesel. Right there we go. Got to tell me. Tell me. Oh. Okay, now I'm back to actually flipping around. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, guys. I'm keeping it calm. Keeping it chill. But yeah, I mean, if you can, you can make brushes and stuff like that work for you. You just gotta, you just gotta import it into the the software, and you can make it work. Quite easily, in fact. They say ravens are messengers of gods. Alfred. Well, according to Shire Fox, I am I'm Alfred. a goddess. Alfred. Close enough. <laughs> Works properly. Alfred, I just don't understand well the basics of painting. Here. Oh, yeah. we have it. well, that is that sounds like a YouTube video. I would say, uh, remember, remember lighting. Remember, uh, remember sketching it out beforehand does help out a lot with painting. So like a lot of a lot of artists can just slap it on canvas. Well, they are good enough to just slap it on canvas. But there is a lot of great artists out there. I have a few. I'll send them to you later. There's a few good artists that I follow that I love their painting style and whatnot. Everybody has their own style, though. Like, uh, I know that Art Jack is really good. I don't think he has. He might have some tutorials online. That Art Jack is real good. How did you come here? 
He does a lot of Dungeons and Dragons art, which is mainly what I like, but it's very realism. It's uh, it's surrealistic in a good way. You forgetting your manners? We have company. Of course, of course. Sit, sit. Throw a handful of coal on the fire. A whole handful. Doesn't matter now. And part. I'm gonna be honest. One of the reasons why I want to do digital painting is that they said it's less strict than line art style stuff. Well, in all honesty, it is, but you, uh, but you have to sketch it out first, like a sketch like this, like knowing structure, uh, like knowing that this, this goes to this, goes to this, goes to this. But 18 years. And can so make a figure it. like but this. Stay here. Ralph. But after all, Ralph. Ralph. it's real quick and simple. Just knowing the basics of that and knowing where the, uh, like, that's what I mean by sketching it out first. Like, just certain things like that. And then you can put weight on all of it. like that so like you just using basic stuff like that you can actually improve a lot of things and stuff like that knowing the basics but with painting it can it can be fun like that you can slap it on there uh salvador dolly uh what what else is a good one uh what is his name? I am fucking blanking on all of these names. Uh, I mean, look at Starry Night and whatnot. I know that famous painting. You know, painting can be as unrestrictive as that. Yeah, exactly. To practice and look at it. For anatomy? Yeah, exactly. Like just, just light things like that. I, I'm not, I'm not saying like go full ham like I do. I say, you know, go with something that's gonna be easy for you to recognize and stuff like that. There are people that can just, yeah. You'll get over that feeling, Tommy. The trouble with yeah. the world was that it kept getting yes, smaller yes. and smaller it ended with just a There are people that can literally just slap on uh, without a sketch. And those people are just... I'll get there. I'll get there. It just takes forever. Especially with someone who is self-taught. Don't be like me, kids. We've got the power heater going now. It seems funny to be this warm when it isn't Christmas or somebody's birthday. At first I was like, oh yeah, I get it. The muscle, the definition is there. Then my friend pointed out that there is certain muscles that points out because the pinky finger of the statue is raised up. Yep. Like, small little things like that. Just heard X minus one presented by the National Broadcasting Company in cooperation with Galaxy Science Fiction Magazine, which this month features the Edward M. Ludwig story, A Coffin for Digits, with never a moment to rest. The pursuit through space felt like a game of hounds and hares, or was it? Follow the leader. Galaxy Magazine on your newsstand today. Tonight by transcription, X minus one has brought you a pail of air. A story from the pages of Galaxy written by Fritz Leiber and adapted for radio by George Leffert. Featured in the cast were Ronnie Liss, Pamela Fitzmaurice, Richard Hamilton, Eleanor Kelt, Rita Lloyd, and Joe DeSantis. Your announcer, Fred Collins. X-1 was directed by Daniel Sutter and is an NBC Radio Network production.
an important announcement for the listeners of X minus one. Beginning next week, X minus one will be heard over most of these stations at a new time, Tuesdays at 8:30 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget, listen next Tuesday from 8:30 to 9 p.m. for X minus one. Monitor takes you everywhere this weekend on the NBC Radio Network. Now stay tuned tuned for X X minus one one on NBC. NBC. Countdown for blast off. X minus five, four, three, two, X minus one, fire. From the far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of the future, adventures in which you'll live in a million could-be years on a thousand maybe worlds. The National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Galaxy Science Fiction Magazine, presents X minus one. But if you need any help, uh, anyone need any help, just let me know. Just let me know if you need any help drawing or anything like that. I'm I'm down to just chill out. Build your own three-dimensional color TV set, complete kit, screwdriver assembly in three hours. Ah, I don't know. Well, let's see. A dog is man's best friend. Build your own dog. Complete kit, spaniel model, only three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, here, that's it. My next project. Gordon, is that you? I wasn't going to. Where is the package? They set it against the side of the house. Over there, see? Oh, it did. It, it, it came, huh? <laughs> I want to look. Well, I would have put it down in the basement, but I couldn't lift it. Well, I'll start dinner as soon as I finish this part of the picture. I want to get the grass while the light shines. That's all right, sir. No hurry. I want to examine this suit anyhow. Of course, if you didn't waste our money on things like boards, maybe we could afford a robot and I wouldn't have to cook. Oh, no. There. There. A real menace to society, oh no. Good night. You're not going to open that thing here on the terrace. Now you make a mess. Well, I, I, I just want to see the park. You know, this thing's too big and heavy to be a dog sled. Maybe it's a great day. No, no, no. Look, here, here, here's the shipping tag. From how to kit ink to Gordon Knight. One dog kit, spaniel model, two hundred and fifty dollars, paid in full. Great Dane for three hundred and fifty. Well, all I can say is that must be the world's biggest spaniel. Well, you know that's that's darn funny. But also, lad, of remember, uh, with digital painting, you can grab three D objects. And use them as a way to shade and stuff like that. And learn how uh, structure works and stuff like that. I'm just the asshole who won't use it. Yeah, uh, there's, uh, depending on what program you're using. Yeah, you can grab, the people have already probably made 3D objects, like people, things, and stuff like that, and you can just drop the, drag and drop them into your program, your drawing program. Oh, you're talking about the, oh, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to. You don't have to be like, oh. Uh, yeah. Clip Studio has that feature. I'm just the asshole who doesn't use it. I pro I'll probably use it for carts and stuff and horses, if I if uh, if it allows me. Cause uh, I, that sounds like a big old pain in the ass, and I don't want to fucking deal with it. Clip points? Fuck if I know. Like I don't fucking know. Uh, I think most of it's free. I think most, of, like, it, you can go online and you can find a free one that you can drag and drop into Clip. I just know that on the mobile version, uh, I think I'm fucked. Like, on the mobile version, I...